Okay, section B, the start of the mechanics, we got four more questions. So, unless otherwise stated, wherever a numerical value for G uh, is required, take G is equal to 9.8 meters per second squared and give your answers to two significant figures or three significant figures. Okay, question six then. So a man throws a tennis ball into the air so that at uh, the instant when the ball leaves his hand, uh, the ball is two meters above the ground and rising vertically upwards with a speed of nine meters per second. Uh, the motion of the ball is modeled as that of a particle moving freely under gravity and the acceleration due to gravity is modelled as being of constant magnitude 10 meters per second squared. The ball hits the ground 10 seconds after leaving the man's hand. We want to find T. Okay, so this is a job for Suvat. Let's first of all draw a little sketch. So, there's a man, there's the ball. So, when the ball leaves his hand, the distance between the ball and the ground is two meters. The ball has an initial speed upwards of 9 meters per second so we call that u now the only other thing really that we know is acceleration is working down and acceleration is 10 meters per second squared so using so that when the ball hits the ground well we know that S, the displacement, is 2 metres below where it started. So S is going to be minus 2. We know that U is 9. Don't really know V. The acceleration is going to be minus 10. Because acceleration is working downwards, so it's negative. And T is what we want to find. So, we are given all of our Suvat equations. So you don't need to remember them. Here they are. So we want one with S, U, A and T. So, we want the second one down. So S is UT and one half AT squared. So S is UT plus one half AT squared. So substituting in what we have minus two is equal to nine T um, now A is minus 10, so a half times minus 10 is minus 5 T squared. Now this is quadratic, so let's get everything on the same side with a positive T squared term. So we're going to uh, move everything over to the left and get 5 T squared. Minus 9t minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, hopefully, we can factorize this. So, we're going to need a 5t and a t. Uh, now, then, we need to end up with a minus 9 in the middle. So, if we put a minus 2 there, 
we're going to need a plus one there. Now the two solutions that we get from that then are that t is minus one fifth. But that's a silly answer. Remember t is time, so it can't be negative. Luckily though, from the other one, we get t is two. So t equals two is our answer. Cool.